Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel Salesforce FAQs where we simplify the Salesforce for you. So today in this video I am going to explain you the step by step process of deleting a flow in Salesforce. So if you have ever created a flow that you no longer need or want to clean up your org this video is going to help you through which you can deactivate and delete the flow. So let's move ahead and start the process. So right now I have logged into my Salesforce account and as of now I am on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning and from the setup window we are going to navigate on the flows window for that you have to go to the quick find box and here search and select flows so right now we are in the flow setup and here you can see the list of flows so now we are going to see the process how we are going to delete the flow so deleting a flow can be a little bit trickier than it sounds so so first we need to know what kinds of flow we can delete so here in the list of flows you can see there is a header package state and in this column you can see the unmanaged and managed flow so if you want to delete a flow you can delete only a flow with package state as unmanaged that means we cannot delete the flow having the package state as managed like if i go to the unmanaged flow here you can see the drop down of it and when i click on the drop down of an unmanaged flow you will see an option of edit access edit details and view details and version and when i click on the managed flow drop down you won't see any option here so you can see no actions are available so you will see that there is no actions available that is because this flow is part of package that you have installed so you have to uninstall the entire package in order to get rid of that particular flow or unmanaged package but the flows that you have created by yourself and having the package state as unmanaged these are the one that you can delete so for example i'm going to delete the screen flow create contact screen flow so for that we are going to click on the drop down button adjacent to this flow and here we will click on button view details and versions so here you will see the flow versions so in this flow we have only one version that means this flow have only one version and if you make any changes after the activation of flow then those changes get saved as a different version so all the version of the flow will appear here if the flow having more than one version and to delete a flow you need to deactivate all the flow version so here we are going to click on the deactivate button and as of now the flow is deactivated and to delete this flow i have to simply click on the delete button so here we will see this warning message on the screen so here i am going to click on the ok button so as of now the flow is deleted so this is how you can delete a flow in salesforce so let's take another example where we are going to delete a flow that is already deployed somewhere so for this also i am going to click on the drop down arrow and here i will click on View details and versions and here you will see the flow is having two version so the moment you activate the second version the, the first version will get auto deactivate by itself so here i am deactivating the second version also and after deactivating it i will click on the delete button and ok in the warning message so here i am getting this error that unable to complete the request change so the reason is the flow is deployed somewhere and first I have to delete or remove the flow from the place or like the place layout or the button action where it is deployed right now. So first I have to remove the flow from there then only I will be able to delete it. So here you can see the section column is showing that account record page. That means the flow is currently activated on the account record page. So to navigate on the account record page I will click on it directly from here and uh, lightning app builder will navigate me on the account record page so here i will click on the edit button and now in the flow component you can see the create account cases flow is referenced here so first we will change the flow here or you can simply delete the flow component from here and if the flow is referenced through an action then you can remove that action also and after deleting the flow component i will click on the save button and from here i will again navigate to the flow setup so this was the flow that we were trying to delete that is create account cases so here i will again click on the drop down of this flow and and again select the option view details and versions so the flow was already deactivated we just need to delete it so as of now the flow is not referenced anywhere else in the org so here i am going to click on the delete button and click on the ok button to proceed so as of now the flow is deleted and you can see the flow is nowhere there in the list so this is how you can delete the flow in salesforce and also handle the errors that generally occur while deleting a flow and these errors are mostly related to the flow being referenced somewhere else in the org it might be like flow is deployed as an action or 
it is deployed as a component somewhere on the page record so this was all about deleting a flow in salesforce and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye